Hey, howdy y'all, it's Angie at Whiskey Woman Whisk. Today I'm gonna to be canning up some quarts of my spicy chipotle pork. It's one of my favorite proteins to can. We just need a few simple ingredients, a big onion or two smaller ones, a can of this chipotle's in adobo, and some jalapenos. I'm using dry, I just happen to have those on hand. And some beef broth. And of course, we're gonna need some pork butts. I'm doing a bunch, so I got two. Okay, let's get some of our ingredients prepped. We need to get this onion chopped up. And bear with me. I'm struggling, can't find my good knife. My cutting board is slip sliding everywhere. We're gonna get it done. Hopefully without losing any fingers. Okay, so let's get that can of Chipotle's and adobo sauce and get it chopped up, pureed, whatever works for you. I have a magic bullet so I'm just gonna use my magic bullet. You could definitely use a food processor, blender, chopper, whatever you've got. And my magic bullet, it requires a little bit of liquid. So I am gonna go ahead and add some water and pop it on the bullet and get that pureed. Got all that pork butt cut up into large chunks. I've lined two cookie sheets with foil to par cook my pork. I'm just gonna sprinkle with salt and pepper. You do not have to par cook. This is just my preference. You can raw pack, but um, it is my preference to go ahead and par cook and plus it cooks off a little bit of that extra fat and gives us a little more room in our jars to get more of the protein in the jar. Okay, so now these are ready for the oven. I put my two racks in the oven really close together so that I can get them both trays going at the same time. Now y'all know I'm not gonna let those bones go to waste. I have greased up a iron skillet and I'm gonna put them both because there's lots of good meat on there still. You could go ahead and freeze them from here, from raw state. I'm gonna go ahead and roast them while I got the oven on as soon as I pull those trays out. I've got my jars washed and I'm gonna keep them here in the sink with some really hot water. I'll go ahead and add some extra hot water that's been boiled just so I can keep my jars good and hot until I'm ready to fill them up. I'm roasting this pork at 400 for about 20 minutes. Take that first one off the top out and let the other one cook a little longer. It cooks a little slower on that second shelf. I've got a pot of water has come to boil and I'm going to add this beef base to it. Get my beef broth ready. I've got about three cups in there right now. I don't think I'll need more than that. We'll just make some real quick if we do. Let's grab some of those hot jars out of the sink and we'll start putting this together. Now I already have my canner over here with some water, about three quarts. And we'll start pulling some of these jars out of that hot water in the sink so that we can just have a few at a time, keeping them good and warm. We're gonna start putting our ingredients into these jars. So I've got my chopped onion going in. We're just gonna put a little bit in each jar. 
And don't forget, we still have a tray of the pork in the oven, so we definitely need to keep an eye on that as we start putting in some of our pork. It's good and hot. We're gonna try to mash as much of those chunks down into that jar and get it as full as we possibly can. Now I also put garlic in here. I forgot to mention that. I'm not seeing it in my video, but I did do a lot of editing down so y'all don't have to watch this forever. <laughs> but um, yeah, about a clove each, minced. You could even use um, garlic granules, powdered garlic. Just get a little garlic in there. So I'm throwing in some of my dehydrated peppers. That's preference, depending on how hot you like it. And of course you can use fresh. Okay, so that's enough of that for now. We need to get back to filling these jars with some pork. Now, y'all will see me just cramming and cramming and trying to shove as much pork in there. It's not a requirement. Um, you're gonna be filling the jar and topping it off with liquid anyway. So if you don't think you will be using that much at a time, you certainly don't have to do that. I'm just trying to get as much of that pork as possible in a jar. Okay, now it's time for the good stuff. That pureed chipotle and adobo sauce. I'm putting about a a good tablespoonful of that pureed sauce into each jar. And now that we've got all the good stuff in the jars, we're going to go ahead and get that hot broth that we have over here, the beef broth, and ladle that into each jar. We're going to need to maintain a one inch, and the rules have changed now. Um, I think it's an inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter headspace whenever you're doing meat of any kind. So we're gonna get that jar filled up to that inch and a quarter space and we need to make sure and debubble each jar. I've got this little plastic debubbler stick but you can use a wood stick, a chopstick. It's not recommended to use metal, but um, this comes in most of your canning kits. Then you need to wipe your rims and use vinegar for that because of the fat in this meat. Get our lids on, let's get it canning. Let's get that steam up to a steady flow and set our timer for 10 minutes. After 10, we're gonna add our weight. Okay, once your weight starts doing a little dance, you're gonna need to set your timer. I'm doing quartz, so that means I will be setting the timer for 90 minutes. Our time is up. Our pressure has gone down naturally. Remove our weight and very carefully open our canner. I like to just open it and tilt the lid off a little bit. Let that steam out. Let it cool down for a few minutes in the canner let it get acclimated before I start to pull those out. Okay, our spicy chipotle pork is ready to pull out of the canner. 
I cannot express just how much I love canning pork, especially with peppers and chipotle and um, garlic, onions. It is just so yummy and so versatile. I love to do tacos with it. I like to do fried tacos with it. Enchiladas, you can use it for a good start for a yummy chipotle mexican stew. It is just delicious and so versatile. I really hope that y'all will give this a try. I know you will love it. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today while I've got this canning done. I hope you'll give the recipe a try. Let me know if you do. And also let me know if you come up with some other recipes that we can use this spicy chipotle pork in. And as always, y'all have a good one. Bye for now.